If you are looking for money, accountability, and support, then here you go. I am starting a Patreon group specifically to provide money, accountability, and support. So here is the backstory, who I am at this point, and why I'm doing this, and sort of what I've tried and what's led me to this point. So. I am someone that came from a humble and loving and supportive family background with absolutely no money, financial education whatsoever. And in fact, I love my family is amazing and I love them. It's kind of the opposite where and as kids do, you love them and, and you support them. I love and support. I was not given any financial support or education. What I was given was intense curiosity. And I feel like that curiosity has brought me to the point where I've educated myself financially and I've learned the basics, like very basic financial knowledge. I've also managed to dig myself up out of $17,000 of consumer loan debt in about two and a half years. And at that time, um, the debt was 60% of my take home salary. So I was making roughly $28,000 a year and I had $17,000 in debt and I managed to get rid of that in two and a half years. So that's kind of where I'm coming from. What I wish I had and what helped me the most during that period was an accountability community that I was part of. And I went to that community every week for like, I wanna say, six months and I gave two dollars a week to that community and that community was phenomenal they helped me get a hold of my finances they helped me figure out my debts uh, my assets and make a plan to get myself out of debt and into a more secure stable financial position again I gave two dollars a week to that group I went every week for six months and that was more than worth I got my more than two dollars worth so I'll put the link to the Patreon down below. You can go check it out. I'm super excited to start this because again, it's what I wish I had at the time and I know would have helped me, what did help me. And so again, $2 a week, once a month, added up over a month, that's $8 a month. So more than helpful. So you can check it out. It's still kind of in the process, in, in progress right now, but you can check out the different levels and what's offered in those levels. So what I am creating is, what I aim to create is a supportive and encouraging community of individuals who are looking to gain clarity and exponential growth with their money. So if you're someone that doesn't know where to start, this the resources in that community are designed to help you figure out where you want where you are and then how to get to where you want to be. So right, that's those are the most important things, figuring out number one, where you are, getting a clear picture, getting clarity on exactly where you are, your liabilities, your assets, what's coming in, what's going out, and how you can get to the place, place where you want to be. So that's number one. Number two is exponential growth. How do you grow? How do you hit those financial milestones? So how do you operate within your money, monthly money spending plan in order to hit those financial goals? It's also for people like myself, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm working on my own private business, I'm working in the corporate world during the week, I'm a parent, <laughs> so managing all those things and yet making progress every single day. Because there's always something to work on, even if you don't want to be in your money, because nobody wants, the idea isn't to focus on your money every single day. The idea is to automate and be able to have your finances kind of operating in the background so you don't need to think about them all the time and you're not worried about them. You spend an hour on your money, maybe two hours a month on your money a month, making sure that everything's set. And then you go about your life. You grow in personal ways. You grow in relationships. You grow physically. You grow with personal development. So again, the idea is to get your money straight so you don't need to worry about it. So here are the things that I've tried and a kind of my background in courses. I love courses. I love personal development and growth and becoming kind of ingesting material to make to learn right to learn and to grow that that's kind of that's why i'm here what i'm here to do so here are the courses that i've done just recently uh, i did ramit sethi's earn 1k course which cost a thousand dollars and that's actually how i set up my first business finally yours which is a reselling retail um online e-commerce business was fantastic totally worth the price of the course it was a thousand dollars that course and i earned back a thousand dollars within the first month that i had it and i'm that business is still making money today here and there 
totally worth it. Totally excited for Ramit's new show. I just started watching it. It's amazing. Um, the second thing I did is private mentorship where I paid someone um, $100 per session to kind of coach me through. Also 100% worth it. It was someone that I really respect. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of go into that. It's Dina Bouvet who was on the show Wife Swap and I signed up for her private one-on-one -on -one coaching and it was very helpful. She wrote a book called Dream or Dream to Believe, something along those lines. I bought the book and I got mentorship with her. It was fantastic. Um, I've also tried informal masterminds, which are great. Totally worth it as well. Worth the cost of admission. The thing with free masterminds is there's nothing on the line. There's no money. There's no impetus to meet. It's just kind of the friendship and the camaraderie. Sure, which is great. I find that having some kind of money on the line is helpful for me because it makes me take whatever I'm doing a little bit more seriously and commit a, bit, a little bit more, especially if it's something that I um, am familiar with. If, if it's a creator that I like and um, jive with, and I appreciate their values and I've heard good reviews of their stuff from other people, then um, I feel like it's worth the cost of admission. But informal masterminds to that end can be great for developing friendships with people who are either at your level or above doing what you're doing and people that you can kind of help out as well. Uh, the fourth thing I tried was a We Should All Be Millionaires Club, a Rachel Rogers um, club subscription membership service. That costs $300 a month and I did it for three months and for 900 bucks, it was not worth it. That's the one thing that I did not think was worthwhile and I'll tell you why, and I, I'll tell you why I, I respect what Rachel Rogers is doing. I appreciate her. She wrote the book, We Should All Be Millionaires. I think it was a Hello Seven, is in Seven Figures. It was called the Hello Seven Club. Um, the thing is, it was very much something that had just scaled very quickly and had scaled beyond what she could manage. And while I appreciated what she was doing, it was beyond what she could manage, and it was more than I would have, more than I thought it was worth. She was charging 300 bucks, and I think it would have been maybe worth like $60. I would have stayed in it for $60, not for 300. So, and the first thing she tells people is to raise their prices. And in this case, I thought that that was not good advice, and it was very evident that it was not well executed. So I kind of did not appreciate that, um, that much money, which is why I left ultimately spending that much money to get kind of something that was a little bit um, still kind of in the learning phase. However, I did get some very, very good information from that. Um, there, she sent a tote bag to all, all of her uh, new, new, I guess, new subscriber, new people that joined her membership. And I got some useful um, templates from her. I do my money, my annual money review. That template came from her. It was free though. So her free material was good. The membership again. I, and I met some some cool people and I got some interesting insights. So it wasn't that I, it wasn't completely without value. It just wasn't worth what I paid for it. Uh, the fifth thing I tried was Francesca Amber's money course. That was $44. It was okay. I, a lot of it was information I could have gotten elsewhere and I have gotten elsewhere all kind of put together in one one package which was fine I would not recommend it um, but I think that a lot of her free stuff is fantastic she's someone else that I've been following for a long time so that's Francesca Amber um, law of attraction changed my life is her YouTube channel she's since pivoted to a podcast and she has a phenomenal patreon um, subscription service which I'm actually I will actually talk about later and I'm, I really admire what she's doing and there's tremendous value in what she's doing. The reason why I no longer follow her is because she uses a lot of profanity and I can't have it on when I'm just like when I'm driving in the car, I can't have it on. So that's pretty much one of the only reasons I unfollowed her. And I'm like, all right, that's just, she's not going to change anytime soon. So I, I can't do that. So I moved on. And then the sixth thing I've tried recently, most recently was Tony Robbins' Personal Power 2. Um audio downloads and workbook which I've spoken about before and I have a review on and I it was $300 totally worth it worth every penny because I still listen to it um today I kind of go through it on the regular amazing there's a reason it's a classic it's a self-development classic because it is very good very actionable very digestible very insightful and very easy to put into daily practice and I've seen tremendous results in my own life from his material 
So Patreon, moving on to Patreon because I'm creating a Patreon group and community. Here are some patron Patreons that I've subscribed to. So I'll start at the top, uh, True Crime Obsessed, just for fun, something to ingest. They are actually the largest Patreon creator in terms of number of subscribers, I think. Um, it's just they're two, two people, a couple of people talking about true crime documentaries. I'm not really listening to true crime so much anymore, but when I was, that was phenomenal and total, I think it was five bucks, totally worth it to have something extra to listen to um, when I was you know, doing stuff around the house, to have a podcast to listen to additional episodes of a podcast that I like to listen to. The second one is Francesca Amber's Law of Attraction Changed My Life book club, in which she picks a book every month and goes through it and creates podcasts. It's $15 a month, 15 pounds, I think. So it's a little bit more in dollars. And I was in it for, I want to say six months. And I think there was tremendous value in that. And there was absolutely almost no interaction between her and other people. I tremendous, she had a, a huge subscriber count. I think Alaska, it was like 3000 people signed up and paid 15 bucks a month to hear her podcasts or exclusive podcasts on the book that they were doing that, that they chose for that month. She also has a free podcast, so she does put out free material. Um, so this, again, this podcast was worth it, I think. And the community was good wasn't really jiving with the level of rigor that I had wanted. It was a little bit, um, I would say lower vibe. It was a little bit less um, act actionable and concrete and specific and a little bit more, um, I would say intentions-based, which I, I am all for affirmations and positive intentions, but it was less emphasis, there was less emphasis on action in the group. So Again, the, the main reason I unsubscribed is because of the foul language. She uses a lot of bad language. And I, I just, with my little one, I, I don't want that um, to be playing in the background. The third Patreon group that I've subscribed to personally is Prepper Princess's Patreon, which I actually enjoy. I mean, she's got her own very specific look and feel. And it's, this is just, I, I would call it entertainment, some snip, snippets of her life. So... It's just entertaining and also kind of interesting to see how she's saving money. She's actually, I believe, fully at this point work optional. She doesn't work outside of um, YouTube. She's got enough in investments that she can live off the dividends, which is the dream. So that's what she does. Um, so she's a full-time creator, I believe. And I, she, her Patreon group is five bucks a month. And I, I just subscribe to that. And I think that's totally worth it. The fourth one is Brad Finn's group. And he too, I believe is almost or partially work optional at this point. He does a lot of stocks and investing, especially options using the wheel strategy. Not so much my the area of um, interest or ability at this point right now. I do not, I'm not in, I'm not into options at the moment. It's something I'd fully love to learn a little bit more about, but at the moment capital is not, <laughs> that's not where I'm putting my capital. Uh, but very interesting. And I would like to learn more about what he's doing. So those are the four Patreons that I've recently subscribed to it and my experience with them. So starting my own Patreon, I'm really excited to kind of, you can probably hear that in the background, my child has woken up. <laughs> I'm really excited to dive in and create this sort of community that I hope will be of service, that I, I aim to make of service to people who are looking to gain clarity and exponential growth with their money, whether they're self-employed, have dual dual employment, or are working a side hustle, or working a second, or building a business. I aim to offer encouragement and support as they, as we all achieve our money goals, and in particular for, again, gaining clarity and exponential growth. So check out the Patreon in the link below. There will be some, um, ideally, some some more posts and information up there. Once you subscribe, you get access to the full back catalog and you can just download if you want to download all the stuff I have to download and then unsubscribe. That's personal. That's absolutely fine. But uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. If there's anything you wish could be added in more and I look forward to sharing more details about that with you. So thanks for watching. Hope you'll keep watching. Bye.